Hi, I am Om Prakash. I welcome you all to this Mold Flow Insight training session. Primarily in this training session, my agenda is to discuss and show you about the benefits of mold filling analysis. And primarily if you see with the use of plastic parts on the rise in almost every sphere of industry combined with growing pressure to reduce cost and cut time to market the need for simulation tools that provide deep insight into the plastic injection molding process has never been greater. And many times I get or people used to they ask me a very simple question that why to perform mold flow analysis on existing parts where already you know where to get, where exactly is the gate locations you know. Then what is the need of this mold flow analysis? First of all, many people think that if you know where to get the part, you do not need to perform the mold analysis, which is wrong. So let us see why that conception is absolutely wrong. That is a misconception and may not really help you that much in reducing cost and time as well as many, they may not prevent other problems. What are other problems you have? You will be able to fill the parts and get the parts, but will the part be the best in the very first tryout? That is a question that can be answered by performing the flow analysis. Many times you may know the overall gate region on the part, but you may not be able to locate the exact gate locations to have a complete balance fill all around the part and cavities. Such an important instance other than the gate locations you have like the cooling, the packing issues, scrap rates, surface quality and gate or flow lines, surface finish and many other uh, scenarios like clamp, uh, the tonnage etc. also are very important governing factors. So if you look into the different complex mold that may be plastic with the different plastic grades but the problems which you have is always we need to improve the part design, we need to improve the tooling, we need to reduce the engineering time, eliminate several tryouts that is the trials and error which you do, improved part quality and reduction in filling, packing, cooling time, very well balanced filling and pressure distribution. So typical advantage which you have like the thermoplastic packing and insert over molding and also you have the gate locations, automatic runner balancing, hot runner system, central line import and export, dynamic fit systems and also the cooling simulations which you have. So let us apply this particular principle to better understand over a problem which I will show you directly in the Autodesk mold insight and primarily many advantages you have which I will discuss in my second session. In this first session, let us understand the basic principle and for that I am taking this manifold 3D model. So let us open the model and typically you prefer STL model for importing and couple of parameters you need to set that may be single cavity or multi cavity. So what we need to do is we need to assign the parameters like the material whatever the material you select and you can have all the materials properties in details like the description you can have you can have other properties which like the viscosity and other load parameters you can have thermal properties mechanical properties as well you have and PVT properties the pressure volume and temperature relationship you can have here and you can optimize and control the shrinkage properties as well based on your requirement. So I am selecting this PP and I am going for OK. And the first very important requirement is that you can see one injection location you have. So I am deleting this particular location by going to this. You can go to this particular home tab and you can delete this particular get location and if you go to the set injection location I am maybe requiring here and after that 
I mean deleting this one. I require to have a arbitrary gate location here maybe. So after defining the gate location, what you have to do is you have to go for the defining the other parameters. Those are very, very important to your mold system. That is the runner system and the cooling system. Runner system and cooling system you can only define after defining the gate location. So what all other influencing parameter you have during the definition like the machine setup, clamping setup and also what are analysis parameters you are looking for that everything you can filter and figure it out here. So let us say I am going for the runner system and here you can see the X and Y locations in the MM you can have and you can see the top runner panel here you have see I would like to use a hot runner you can use it and you can have a center of mold and you can go to the other parameter like the sprue the orifice diameter and you can angle angle you can set it here and the runner diameter as well you can set and the bottom drop diameter so after that you can define the top kit start diameter and end diameter that is the taper angle and the length you can give and you can go for finish so in this way let us say this is my the runner system which I am looking for then I will go for the cooling system and which which direction you are looking for the X or Y I am looking for to have in the Y direction and you can have the channel diameter I am picking here 8 and how far above and below the part would like the circuit to be created I am looking for 10 and I am going for next and a number of channels I am looking for 3 and distance between the channels center you can specify and distance to extend beyond the part I am going for 12 mm and I will go to preview and you can see this looks like that and go to finish so this is what we are looking for and after doing this you can go for multi cavity as well if you go to cavity duplications and you can have the number of cavities and you can put it as per your requirement and I am going for 4 where 2 is rows and 2 is the column and you can have your specification here uh, I am going for 85 and here I am going for 85 and I am going to preview you can see it here and go to finish and everything will be mapped to your new system and you can have your gate and cooling system in the required direction and after that I will go to the process setting where you can see the filling controls and velocity and pressure switch over which is automatic control and pack and holding control you can see and once you set it you can directly go to your parameters which we are looking for and you can see the preview here and during the problem solving you can find the locks also here in my second session I will show the analysis and its report and how you can view those in brief thank you